Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you 3 apocalyptic outfits that we can do in GTA Online. If you happen to have an outfit or a glitch that you would like to send to me then please do make sure that you send it to my Instagram which is officialmilitated or to my email which is militatedyt at gmail.com. If you enjoy the video then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But with all of that being said, let's now get on to the actual video. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is head down to the mask store which is located at Vespucci Beach. Once you arrive, you're then going to start browsing the hat section, go into the riot helmets category and we're going to purchase the No Master Shielded Riot. If the visor happens to be in the down position when you buy it, then all you need to do is hold right on the d-pad and it will put the visor in the up position. Moving on, we're then going to go over to the mask section and we're going to go into the arena wall category. From here we're now going to start scrolling through until we get down to the Black Marauder. So now that we have those two items purchased, we're then going to go down to the nearest clothing store. Once we eventually arrive, we're then going to head over to the pants section and we're going to go down to the bottom to where it says Arena War Pants. We're going to be purchasing the Black Raider Pants which I honestly think are the best items to be added. In the top section, we're going to go into Arena War Tops and then go into Apocalyptic. Head down to the bottom of the list and we're going to scroll up until we get to the Black Raider Top. We're now going to go over to the shoe section of the store and we're going to go down to the bottom to where it says Arena War Shoes. For this outfit we're going to be using the brown and white Raider boots. With that sorted we're then going to back out of the shoe section and begin the long walk over to the accessory section. When we eventually get there we're going to start browsing and go into the gloves category. Now just head down to the bottom and purchase the black tact gloves. At this point we're then going to back out of there and go into the glasses section. From here we're going to go into sports glasses and purchase the black wraparounds. However, if you want something that stands out a bit more, then you can use any of the wraparounds which have the coloured lenses. Either way, we're then going to leave the clothing store and head over to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier. You can also use the telescope in your high-end apartment, but sometimes that will not work. In the interaction menu, we're going to go into style and accessories and scroll down to masks. From here, we're then going to press left until we get to the black marauder which we purchased earlier on. Next, we're going to sprint at the telescope at an angle and you're going to press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. If timed correctly then your character will just stand there instead of looking into the telescope and you should also notice that you are no longer wearing the mask. Going back to the interaction menu, we're going to go into style and accessories but this time we're going to go down to helmets. Now press left until we get to the no master shielded riot. When you walk away from the telescope, the mask will then reappear. The next step is to then repeat the telescope glitch so that we can get the glasses on. Next we're then going to repeat the telescope glitch but this time we're going to go to glasses and you're going to equip the black wraparounds. With the glasses, helmet and mask combined, we're then going to need to head over to the nearest ammunition and start browsing the outfit section. Now just make sure that you save the outfit before we continue on to the next part. With the outfit saved, we're then going to back out and scroll down the outfit list until we get to flight suits and from here we're going to purchase the black flight suit. Ok so now we're going to go down to the vanilla unicorn strip club and simply just go inside. Once again we're going to reopen the interaction menu but this time we're just going to go into style and go down to where it says outfits. Scroll along to the one that you just saved in the ammunition and equip it. When you exit, you should then notice that the flight suit hose has transferred over to this outfit. We're now going to need to head over to the nearest clothing store and make sure that you do that by foot or a motorbike. Do not use a car as it will make the flight suit hose disappear. We're going to reopen the interaction menu but this time go into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. For this outfit we're going to be using the black combat shoot bag. If you can't select a parachute then make sure that you go and buy one from ammunition. In the outfit section of the store, we're then going to make sure that we save the outfit for the last time, but just before we finish, I need to show you one more thing. If you decide to switch outfit or something and the flight suit hose disappears, then all you need to do is go back and equip the outfit twice and it will then reappear. With all that done, we're then ready to move on to the second outfit of the video. Thankfully, this one is much simpler and requires far less glitching than the first one. Okay, so in order to start this outfit off, we're going to need to head down to the nearest clothing store. In the top section, we're going to go into utility tops and head down to the bottom of the list. Now just scroll up and purchase the beige detail battle vest. Next, we're then going to back out of tops and head over to accessories. From here, we're going to go into the scarves category and purchase the black desert scarf. As we do with the first outfit, we're then going to go into the gloves category and purchase the black tax gloves from the bottom of the list. With the scarf equipped, we're then going to head back over to the top section, but this time we're going to go into utility vests. From here we're going to purchase the light strike vest. 
Okay, now we're going to go over to the pants section and go back into the arena war pants category. This time though, we're going to go for the white camo raider pants. After equipping those, we're then going to back out of the pants section and head over to the other side of the clothing store to go over to the shoe section. In the arena war shoes category, we then have a few different options to choose from. I would recommend either the grey raider boots or you can go with what I'm going for which is the brown and white raider boots. Again, that is just entirely dependent on personal preference, but once you have done that, you're then going to head over to the outfit section and make sure that you save it before we continue. Guys, please do make sure that you save it because that is a very important step that some people seem to always miss. Okay, we're now going to start browsing the outfit section once again, go down to the bottom and go to Outfits Arena War. Just as a side note, that astronaut suit can be pretty pricey, so do make sure that you keep that in mind. For now though, we're going to head back over to the telescope at Del Piero Pier. As I've shown previously, we're then going to sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. Now that the helmet has disappeared, we're then going to reopen the interaction menu and go back into style. You then need to go down to outfit and equip the one that you just saved before equipping the astronaut suit. The helmet will then reappear onto the outfit once you walk away from the telescope. Lastly, we're then going to head down to the nearest ammunition just to equip a parachute which I think completes the look. To do that, we're going to go into the weapon section and purchase it from the top left. In the interaction menu, we're going to go into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on and for this outfit, we're going to be using the black combat shoot bag. The remaining step is to then head over to the top section and save the outfit for the last time. Just as some additional information, you cannot combine this helmet with another mask or hat. However, as you can see here, you are able to put in some glasses. Personally, I prefer not to, but again, that is just up to you. Alright, so we're now pretty much ready to move on to the third and final outfit of this tutorial. As with the previous two, this is not that complicated, so pretty much anyone can do these. To begin this one, we're going to head back down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach, and we're going to go into the hat section. From here, we're going to go into the combat helmet section and scroll through until we get down to the black quad lens. Similar to the right helmet in the first outfit, if the quad lens happens to be down, then all you need to do is hold right on the d-pad and it will put it into the up position. Moving on to the mask section, we're then going to go into the biker category and go down to the bottom of the list. From here we're going to purchase the black dome filter. The next step is to then head back down to the clothing store and go into the top section. From here we're then going to go into arena war tops. As we did before, we're then going to go back into apocalyptic and start scrolling through. For this outfit, I decided to go for the black mercenary vest, but you can also go for the black and red one at the top. Following on from the first two outfits, we're going to go back into the pants section and go into the arena war pants. We're going to purchase the black raider pants and then back out and head over to the accessory section. Now go into the gloves category, head down to the bottom, but this time we're going to scroll up to the black fingerless gloves. After walking across the store, we're going to start browsing the shoe section and go down to the arena war shoes category. To match the rest of the outfit, we're going to go for the dark brown raider boots. Once again, just make sure that you save the outfit before we continue on to the next part. Alright, so once the outfit has been saved, we're then going to back out and head over to the glasses section of the store. At this point, we're going to go into the sports glasses category and scroll down to either the black outlaws or the mono outlaws. I decided to go for the black outlaws which have the white outline, but that is entirely up to you. In order to get the mask back, we're now going to head down to the telescopes at Del Piero Pier. Now open up the interaction menu and go into style. We're going to go down to where it says outfit and you're going to equip the one that you just saved before equipping the glasses. Next, we're going to sprint towards the telescope at an angle and you're going to press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. If timed correctly, then you should just stand there and you should no longer have the mask or the helmet. So we're now going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and equip the glasses from there. When you walk away from the telescope, you'll then notice that the helmet and the mask reappear, but you still have the glasses on. Now that we have that combination, we're then going to head back down to the nearest ammunition and we're going to start browsing the weapon section. As usual, we're going to purchase the parachute from the top left and then we're going to back out. In the interaction menu, we're going to go into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. Just like the other outfits, we're going to be using the black combat shoot bag. To finish this outfit off, we're then going to make sure that we save the outfit for the last time and then we are done. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have an outfit or a glitch that you'd like to send to me, then please do make sure that you send it to my Instagram, which is officialmilitated, or you can send it to my email, which is militatedyt at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next GTA Online video.